Okay. All right. Oh boy. Here we go. Oh, we got to talk about shoe on head, everybody. All right, imps. It's time. Shoe on head. Shoe on head is nobody's, well, unfortunately, some people's favorite self styled internet politics, memester, goofster, boxy clone, whatever. Uh, shoe on head is somebody that most people in my spaces are familiar with. Shoe on head is a very large YouTuber. Uh, she's been around for a long time making content. She used to be an alt right anti SJW streamer. Um, interestingly, during that period of time, she was very, 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 uh, she was very flagrant with her horny posting, despite the fact that she was followed by lots and lots of children. Now, um, since the ancient times, Shoe on Head has become something of a self-styled pedo hunter. And uh, what I mean by that is that Shoe on Head will uh, essentially get hooked on weird conspiracy theories, propagate them out to her millions of followers, and then the, her brain dead millions of followers will cause all kinds of shit without ever actually doing any research. Now. I've actually had to talk about this on my stream multiple times because every single Pride Month, for some reason, Shoe on Head finds some really, 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 really weird way to retweet the same exact far right, literally photos taken from dirt from uh, the Daily Stormer uh, um, propaganda every single Pride Month, and watch. It'll happen next Pride Month, too. It will. Just wait. Wait till next June. Interestingly, June, which is Shoe on Head's name, uh, uh, will always, <laughs> always does it every Pride Month. Now, it's been mu multiple Pride Months in a row that I've actually had to engage in this discourse. It's really funny. Usually, this is what it looks like. Usually, Shoe on Head will post a picture of, like, uh, the, the one that's usually used is this picture of a kid with the there with the, the the little kid has her hands out and she's reaching towards two guys who are in like dog dog leathers they're in like a leather outfit that looks kind of like a dog now for those who don't know that photo was taken at Folsom Leather Festival which is not a festival for kids it is a specifically explicitly adult festival however it takes place in a area that is accessible by many people. So some people, and I don't agree with the people who do this, but some people will bring their kids into the festival um, even though it's not a festival for kids, even though it is specifically blocked off and meant to not be for kids because it's a public place. Uh, even if it's a registered event, all kinds of public registered events happen. Um, yeah, it's the Folsom Street Fair. Oh yeah, 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 here. I think I think Vadim did a, a, a uh, did a thread on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, this is this is this one. This is the modern one. We're gonna talk about that, don't worry. Now, this happens every single Pride Month. I mean it, literally for years, uh, Shoe on Head will do this during Pride Month. And it's very weird because it, it's kind of odd that you would choose Pride Month to try and start a discourse in which you're saying, and by the way, let me just give you the argument. Every single Pride Month, Shoe on Head will make the argument that gay people are covering for pedophiles in their community by not calling out a propaganda image that was distributed by Daily Stormer. Now, when I say propaganda image, the reason why I say propaganda image is because nobody even knows who the fuck was involved in that image. Nobody knows if it's like, like why the child was there. The child is not being touched, by the way. The child is just reaching towards two dudes in dog leather fetish gear. There's no molestation. There's no rape happening. It's just a very weird picture. And while I will say that you shouldn't take your kids to Folsom, Folsom Leather Festival, it's not a child-friendly place, the parent is literally standing with the child. Now, what's interesting is the Daily Stormer version cuts the mother out of the image. So in the original image, you can see the mother standing there with the kid. The mother clearly brought the kid there. 
and the, the two people who are there aren't doing anything. There is no context for this image. We don't even know who the people were. Shoe on head, okay? Now, Shoe on head has done a number of other, we were talking about Shoe on head and her self-styled pedo hunting. Um, in fact, I think, if I'm not mistaken, hold on, let me just see, let me just verify if I'm correct here. If I go to Shoe on head's channel, let me just take a look here, hold on. If I go to, Hello, Shoe on head has, uh, has 1.6 million followers. Ah, yes. In fact, Shoe on Head actually has a anti-pedophile playlist, which is really interesting. Defending pedophiles to own the libs, Tumblr pedo invasion, pedophobia, uh, uh, talking about Amos Lee, talking about cuties, you know, uh, I don't know. Apparently, Shoe on Head thinks that she's some kind of investigator. But let me just be completely honest. Shoe fucking sucks at this, okay? F Shoe blows, just totally sucks at being a pedo hunter. In fact, um, I would go so far as to say that Shoe is incapable of, of actually helping anyone uh, who might be a victim of a pedophile. And the reason for that is because Shoe on Head regularly entangles her own personal dramas with public figures into her so-called pedo hunting. And also, Shoe on Head is the one of the worst researchers I have ever encountered in my entire life. Shoe on Head is absolutely incapable of actually establishing an order of events. Shoe on Head is absolutely incapable of getting the facts of a situation correct. And that's pretty goddamn important if you're going to accuse somebody of being a fucking pedophile. It's because the only research she does is going on poll? Well, that's motherfucking stupid. Now, some of you may recall that I have told Shu, I, well, I have not told directly, um, but I have addressed Shu via a video, uh, that I have said that Shu is going to get somebody killed. And I still believe that and still stand by that. The absolutely frivolous and careless way in which Shu on head uh, engages in pedo hunting is going to get someone hurt or killed. I, I strongly believe that. Um, uh, sorry about that. Suggestion. Thank you so much. Um, I, I really do believe that. And I think there's a good, uh, a, a number of examples. Now, um, if you are interested in uh, any of my former debunks of Shoe on Head's bullshit, uh, simply, simply search my channel for Shoe on Head and you will discover that I have done multiple debunks of her previous pedo hunting incidents, including one where, including one where she accused an entire organization of trafficking children because she got details wrong. She alleged that there was a a verified, federally recognized um, anti a, a organization that is that is anti child abuse. She alleged that they were running a chat that would allow pedophiles to connect with minors, with no evidence, co just completely and utterly lied. And that's fucking dangerous. And it's especially dangerous in these goddamn times. Oh, thank you very much, uh, Just Nobody. D deeply appreciate that. Thank you. She called them a map cult. It's, uh, it's literally Pizzagate shit. Um, but don't worry. The great news about Shoe on Head is that she is incapable of improving. Uh, she appears to, uh, to, uh, enjoy her status as uh, <laughs> her status as a accepted person al among the right. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but Shoe on Head actually has a history of publicly posting kink, which is a little bit odd. It's it's a little bit weird that Shoe on Head's channel, which inevitably, undeniably, has many, many, many minors following her, that she has actually posted kink and fetish images, including one where she is visibly on a leash being held by armored skeptic, her ex. Now, normally, I would consider this to be gauche to bring up. I would think it would be rude to bring up somebody doing something with their ex. But seeing as how um, 
Shuan Head has now multiple times alleged people of being pedophiles for simply having sexuality adjacent to places where minors might be. Shuan Head herself has committed these sins. So perhaps Shuan Head should spend a little bit more time looking inwards and doing the pedo hunter on the inside instead of the pedo hunter on the outside. Let me bring up what is what has brought us to talking about shoe on head today, because I'm sure some of you are um, are looking at this and going, "What are we talking about? Why 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 is this coming up now?" Because it is a little bit weird that I would be bringing this up now, except that uh, what was it? Was it yesterday? Two days ago, two days ago, shoe on head. Uh, <laughs> in a post that received 70,000 likes and 5,000 quote retweets, 16,000 retweets. I'm not making that up. This post went turbo viral. It went so viral that Shu is actually, look at that. Take a look at that. Here's the numbers. And actually literally right over here, Shu is still currently trending on Twitter. So she had a post that went really viral. Now, what was the post about, might you, might you, might you wonder? Well, it was again, shoe on head doing some pedo hunting. And this is Shu's tweet right here. The brand Balenciaga just did a uh, interesting photo shoot for their new products, which re recently, which included a very purposely poorly hidden court document about virtual child porn, normal stuff. Let's look at the images, okay? Here's a picture of a child holding a teddy bear, fully clothed on a couch, pretty normal photo shoot. Now, if you are a, a Pepe Sylvia moon landing denial conspiracy brain moron, you might look, you might fixate on the image and go, oh my God, does that teddy bear have a leather strap on it? Oh my God! Oh my God, everyone! Holy shit, the bear has a, le has a leather strap! Holy fuck, what's going on here? Let's find out, we need to find out. Oh yeah, remember just a second ago when Tucker Carlson was talking about how, uh, about groomers and child raping and genital mutilation? He had this picture up on the screen. Even though the only thing in this picture whatsoever is this leather strap. There is no, there is uh, no evidence that this child was harmed. There is no evidence that this child was involved in any sort of abuse. This child is not being mutilated. It is just holding a bear that happens to have a leather strap on it. You got a source for that, uh, uh, Ollie? If you can give me a source for that, that'd be great. Let's continue though. Picture two. Here's the second picture. Now this is really small, so we're gonna have to zoom up on this just a tiny bit. Here is the second picture. Now, here we have a kid holding a fully clothed kid, literally not only the skin of the arms holding on this child, which is totally appropriate. Children, in my opinion, shouldn't be dressed up in weird outfits. You know, I mean, I already have, now, in general, I should say, I do think it's weird that we have, that it's normalized in our society for children to work jobs as models or actors. Um, it's really weird. And in fact, in some states like New York and California, there are entire, uh, there's an entire division of law that is devoted to child actors. Because I don't know if you know this, but there are movies that are made, thousands of movies every year, and sometimes there are there is a need for somebody to play a child. Um, and it looks kind of weird when you try to have an adult pretend to be a child. So sometimes uh, people want to hire a child actor to play a child. Now there's a lot of issues with this. It's It's got a whole lot of issues, but it's pretty normalized in our society. But that's not what's being talked about here, is it? Let's keep on task. Let's see what we got in this image. So we have um, the child standing here with this bear. This bear, which is a goth bear, 
and do I don't know what else this I'm supposed to be seeing here. There's some sunglasses. There's some uh, bling. There's some rings. There's a there's like a like a like a chain over here. There's a there's a dog leash because people said that they do pet clothes. They do pet 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 Claire or pet. They do pet supplies because Balenciaga makes stuff for dogs, like literally for dogs. Um, there's a there's a tote. There's a cup. Now none of these things are being worn by the child. The child is just holding this goth teddy bear. So this is a weird image. To, to include in your weird pedo hunting thing, huh? Now, this is even weirder. So here is just a picture of a purse. And there's a piece of paper under here, which, oh my goodness. <laughs> Pepe Sylvia. Oh, we got it, everybody. Hold on. Let's figure out what's going on here. There is this blurry paper in here that you can't see what it says. We're going to get there, though. Don't worry, everybody. And here, it's super zoomed up and super blurry. And it says, that is occurring not sexual inter, but rather sexual inter through through not actually have speech California or speech coalition, uh, really hard to make out what's in this image. Curious. Now, of course, we have shoe on head here saying they deleted all their Instagram posts. Lamau. Now, shoe on head replies down here and says this is the specific course court case subtly conveniently peeking out, which is she's concluded that the 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 uh, the, the 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 papers that are showing out in that paper are from Ashcroft versus free speech. Uh, the act specifically prescribed computer generated or altered depictions of minors engaging in explicit sexual conduct, virtual solid pornography, and images of explicit sexual conduct by adults who resemble minors. The court ruled that the law's expanded definition of child pornography as including any image that appears to be of a minor uh, uh, engaging in sexual explicit conduct or that is presented in such as a manner that conveys the impression that it is of a minor engaging in sexually explicit conduct would criminalize those images that are not obscene and images that were not produced with any real children. So what this is saying is that if you make uh, realistic digital child porn, that is also illegal. Now, if this feels, if you feel a little bit confused at the moment, you're not wrong. I too was very confused as to what was, um, what was supposed to be being said here. And I also want to note Something else, which keen viewers, those you, you eagle-eyed imps out there may have already realized, which is this photo is from a different page than this photo, which is from a different page than this photo. And this is just a zoomed up version of that photo. These aren't even the same photo shoot. Both of those pictures of the children, the child models that are, by the way, just for the record, the children are not being harmed, exploited. They are not wearing suggestive clothing. They are not even, they're just holding a thing. They're not even from the same photo shoots. The children are each from different photo shoots. And the third photo is from a completely different product. Look, you can literally see it if you're smart enough to look in the image. This is a purse with three white stripes on it. This is an adult office purse. This is a briefcase for adults. There is no such briefcase here. There is no such briefcase here. They're not even the same products or images. So 
once again, let me just let me just reread what Shoe on Head claimed versus the reality that we have established so far. The brand Balenciaga just did a uh, interesting photo shoot for their new products recently, which included a very purposely poorly hidden court document about virtual child porn. Normal stuff. Now talk about misleading. That is some, that is some nested misleading. A hidden court document about virtual child porn, a, a, a document from a court case that is against child porn, that is in a photo from a different photo shoot that has nothing to do with the photo shoot with the kids. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that Shoe on Head is so motherfucking stupid that she literally can't even put the images in the correct order, let alone recognize that they're for different goddamn products. Now, there's only one person on the planet who's stupider than Shoe on Head, and that's a Shoe on Head follower. Because let me tell you, Shoe on Head's followers lost their fucking minds. I mean, they lost their fucking minds. Let's just take a look, shall we? Wouldn't it be interesting if the lovely, incredible, and super intellectual, obviously way more honest than any of these goddamn motherfuckers, was able to just show you in real time where you can go look yourself. In fact, if you really don't think I'm being honest about Shoe's followers, let's just, uh, just go open the quote tweets right now. We're gonna look through the comments and we're gonna look through the quote tweets real quick. Let's do it live, okay? Here you go. Fucking disgusting. But I bet they're also on the front page of SJW and calling anyone not a Democrat racist and bigots. Save yourself, mom, Kim Kardashian. I thought I would never quote quote tweet shoe again, but I guess you need all the allies you can get when your enemies are interdimensional pedo demons. I want to know where the celebrity outrage and boycotts are for Balenciaga promoting children sexually. Remember, there is no sexualization of children in these images whatsoever. There is one leather harness on the animal. Pal Balenciaga makes leather harnesses for animals. Hold on a second. Oh, oh no, guys. Oh my God. Oh no. Oh no, everybody. Everybody, oh God, no, hold on. It's loading, I have to show you. Oh no, petco.com. Oh no, they're selling pedophile wear. They're so oh no, everybody! They're selling fetish wear on Petco.com! Oh! Holy shit! We're doomed, everybody! We need to get your weapons! The pedos are coming! Shoes pedophiles are coming! We're not done yet. I'm not even close to done. And the toy looks like it's in BDSM clothes. Nothing new. Can we just, can we just, can I just, can I have a sanity check again real quick? This is not in BDSM clothes. It has a leather strap that you could, if you want to, compare to a BDSM piece of thing. But as I just showed to you, do leather dog harnesses just look like that. They, I'm sorry if you're so triggered that you see a piece of leather and, and uh, you know, I don't know, maybe Shoe on Head sees a piece of leather next to a child and starts getting a little, you know, riled up. Maybe it's a little bit of projection on Shoe on Head's part. Or maybe she's just full of shit. Let's continue. You all are sick. Balenciaga, you knew what you were doing with this ad and you deserve to get canceled. Kanye West was right. A bunch of pedophiles. This is fucking gross. From a, from a massive, almost a million follower account. This is one of those things like the Wayfar cupboard, whatever thing, where two weeks in people will, will be coping hard and saying, that's just a stupid conspiracy theory. Don't be insane. Referencing a debunked 
uh, a debunked insane conspiracy theory that stated that you could order child slaves on Wayfair.com. I'm not kidding you. That was a conspiracy theory. Obviously got debunked to hell. It made no sense. I, I, I wish I, okay, do you wanna hear it? Do you wanna hear the summary? Here's, let me just give you it. You wanna peer into the mind of madness? This was the Wayfair conspiracy. The Wayfair conspiracy came because Wayfair, a gigantic website that is, it's basically, Wayfair is like an online only store that sells furniture. Now Wayfair happened to have some listings that were a little bit weird. And when I say they were a little bit weird, it was like a cupboard. Okay, and it and the price was listed as like a cupboard that had no reviews, and the price was listed at like sixty five thousand, and the weight of the cupboard was more heavy than it should be. So, that's it. Now, what it turned out to be was that Wayfair had a bunch of dead pages that just didn't have correct information on them. They were just random because they have literally millions of product listings. There are some product listings that have just the wrong picture. They have the wrong uh, item. They have the wrong price. That's it. It was just a bunch of dead pages that, that the Wayfair staff hadn't cleaned up. But right-wing conservatives became convinced that the reason why it was $65,000 was because there were children hidden inside of the, um, of the cupboards. Now, of course, they could have just ordered a cupboard and proven it, but of course they didn't do that. And of course that wouldn't work because the moment that you click to order the cupboard, it would be an error because that product is a fucked up product page. But yes, unironically, for a couple of months, QAnon, Alex Jones types were screaming about the Wayfair child trafficking uh, story because they believed that there were children being hidden in, in cupboards on Wayfair.com that you could order for $65,000. It's actually literally insane. But guess what? Shoe on Head's followers think it's legit. Shoe on Head's follower here thinks this is, oh, it's just a, they, they still believe that one. Now here we have somebody posting uh, the creative director, director at Balenciaga and his husband. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Did I forget to mention that? Did I forget to mention that that Balenciaga has gay people that work at it? Because that's what Shoe On Heads fans picked up on right away. They picked up on the fact that there are gay people here. Even though the fact that what Shoe On Head posted was insane, demented grandma tear dribble. And I mean that, literally like the most unhinged drivel you can imagine. Photos not even from the same Photoshop, no actual children being harmed whatsoever. Let's keep looking. Balenciaga crossed the line. This must be stopped! Somebody going on about the evils of Balenciaga. This isn't acceptable. This isn't coincidental. Cute, huh? Kitty porn and no one cares? Save the children! Contact them and let them know. I did. These people are criminals! Her fans are screaming about them being criminals because of three unrelated photo shoots, two of which happen to have children in them, and one of which, for a reason that nobody knows, has a barely readable snippet of a court case. Don't worry, everybody. I have more information. I'm just letting it soak in. I'm, 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 I have in my back pocket the, the kill shot. But don't worry. Let's keep, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Kim Kardashian, this is not acceptable. Absolutely disgusting. Child abuse is not a fashion statement. Yeah. That's a little bit, that's a little bit weird one, isn't it?
Oh my God, Balenciaga's apology, their depraved ad campaign sexualizing children and revealing their pro-child porn positions was a holiday campaign? Child molesters playing moral police for black people. This is fucked up. This is horrific, says Jimmy the Nationalist with the Punisher, uh, uh, the Punisher, uh, account. Sick freaks. Big brands trying to excuse creepy as fuck advertising. Pedophilia inappropriate. This is all a form of revelation method. The point is demoralization. It's to say we know that you know and there's nothing you can do about it. Again, insane. Do you remember when Alex Jones told us the world elites are evil and doing unspeakable things? Free Alex Jones. Now, a little bit of context on that one. Shuan Head has spent the last couple of days, lefty Shuan Head, has spent the last couple of days trying to convince Elon Musk to let Alex Jones back onto Twitter. Kanye West is right again. Damn, Kanye was right to keep his kids away from these people. By the way, that's a reference to the fact that Kanye West accused Jewish people of replacing his children with his children's friends with fakes. I'm not kidding you. Let's keep going. Disgusting. Protect your children. They can't lobby for themselves. Normal stuff that's definitely not weird at all. Normal thing to do. Pedophiles run this world. It's pretty disgusting, man. Even if you are given liberal amounts of artistic expression, this is inexcusable. So three photos from unrelated photo shoots is inexcusable. What the fuck? Everything is so damn fuck up. We're going to need a bigger wood chipper. Oh, wait a minute. You guys remember me just talking and teaching you all about the wood chipper, chipper thing? Do you know who the wood chipper is usually directed at? Oh, it's gay people, isn't it? Interesting that that should show up here. Balenciaga promotes sex with children. What, what the fuck? Human trafficking by Balenciaga? This shit is embarrassing and disgusting. This is so fucking disturbing. Groomers gonna groom. The fucking fuck. Balenciaga groomers. Now, you might start you might start catching on now as we get a little bit deeper in. There are literally 5,000 plus quote retweets right now, and they're still coming in. This one was, you know, these ones have been relatively recent. You're gonna start seeing what I'm talking about. There's a lot, there's gonna be the groomers, then they're gonna tie it in. Oh, and like I said, it is kind of funny that they keep posting about the fact that there are gay people who work at Balenciaga. Let's keep going. It's good to see Twitter citing the truth about this, and it's gonna be hard to take this down when the ones who feed this shit are in charge. Here we go. I'd never heard of this brand and I have no idea what they sell, but they're showing themselves to be a part of the human elite the elite human trafficking pedophilia global cabal. If you question that's real, I have five words. Jeffrey Epstein and Ghislaine Maxwell. Now, it's really interesting because Donald Trump was super close with Jeffrey Epstein, but you don't hear any of these motherfuckers talking about that. Elon Musk was photoed with Ghislaine Maxwell. Ghislaine Maxwell, by the way, is a convicted multiple child trafficker. Convicted. There is an entire case built against both Jeffrey Epstein and Ghislaine Maxwell. But these people have, because of three pictures posted by a manipulative idiot named Shoe on Head, well, they've gone off the rails. They're convinced that this is Jeffrey Epstein now. What the everlasting fuck? Balenciaga Epstein Island Collection.
Me and the homie speaking to the local sheriff after hosting a Balenciaga employee and customer gathering on my property. This is them joking about wood. Do, do you notice he's got a leg? He's joking. They're joking about them being put in a wood, wood chipper, just so you know. Verified account, yeah. But verification doesn't mean anything anymore. These people truly are sick. Just a warning for everyone with CSA trauma. What is coming out into the light will be very disturbing. The Great Awakening. Tucker, uh, Tucker and Dale versus Evil. They're pointing at a wood chipper in that scene. And we know we just went over where the wood chipper thing comes from. We are up against demons. The groomer problem is real. It's not a dumb culture war issue. These people want to rape your kids in one way or another, and they think it's funny. This has 2,000 likes, 500 retweets. I know, the Great Awakening is a QAnon thing. When are we gonna say enough is enough? child pornographers this has to be stopped hashtag groomers do you guys want to take a look at what the groomers hashtag is like oh well interestingly if you go to the groomers hashtag the number one one is shoe on heads post and then of course you know Oh, look, there's the literal propaganda, by the way. There's that one. Again, propaganda that was distributed originally by the Daily Stormer. The, that Daily Stormer. Yeah, the neo-Nazi one. Let's continue, though. No, we're going to keep going. I want to keep going. I want you guys to sh I want to show you how bad it is. Maybe people destroy their storefronts and or factories. Wow. Hmm. I wonder what they could be. <laughs> literal just open call to violence. Definitely not weird or creepy. Uh, death penalty for perverts? This isn't a response to Occupy Democrats. Wait, what were they saying here? Yeah, apparently it's that. Would anyone be surprised if I told them that the creative deck director of Balenciaga is a gay Jew? I, oh, wow. <laughs> Just, I don't know how to, I don't know. What else do you want me to say? How much more obvious can it get? Have I given you enough? Do you understand? If you buy Balenciaga, you're a pedophile supporter. What the actual fuck? And also, you'll recall that this image was used in the, uh, in the, in the, um, the Tucker Carlson segment where he was screaming about child mutilation, even though, there is literally nothing in that image that has anything to do with child mutilation. He used that image. A little bit of a weird connection there, huh? But I wanted to highlight something real quick. Cause thank God for shoot, uh, thank God for Merrick. Real quick, let me just show you this. Ready, ready, here's the, here's the real deal. Shoo. That page is an opinion from U.S. versus Williams 2008 that states that even if someone didn't have CP but pretended that they did, it's still not okay. And that doesn't violate the First Amendment. It's an anti-CP case and from a completely different photo shot, photo shoot from the one with the girl. Yeah, that's right. See, people who actually give a shit about the truth and aren't just screaming fucking insane people trying to rile their fans up to do violence and also to make a nice living shoe on head. Isn't it nice when you get your fans all super pissed off and they're convinced that they need to give you money so that you can help help pedo hunt for them? There's nothing to suggest there's an intent or a connection here. The photo shoot with the little girl is separate from the photo shoot with the desk, and another photo shoot and product separates them on the website. Not only are they different photo shoots, but they aren't even organized touching on the site. 
literally, shoe on head, invented a fucking Pepe Silvia tier conspiracy theory with zero evidence to whip her followers into calling everyone at, Balance, at Balenciaga uh, uh, pedophiles. Now, some people might say, oh, and you're going to do this because all of you pathetic simps do this all the time. Oh, Shu didn't know. Shu didn't know. Shu knows her follower base better than anybody else. Anybody. If there's anybody who knows Shu's fan base most, it's Shu on head. Because she gets those notifications every single time that she does it. And Shu on head also knows that because her audience is full of people who will fill in the blanks, all she needs to do is go, oh, my pedo hunter, there's a pedo over there. And they'll flood in and do exactly what she wants. You believe she got it from TikTok? Well, then she's a plagiarist and a fucking moron. But I wanted to read another thing from Merrick because I think Merrick really nailed it right here. Let's just let's just feast your eyes on what sanity and and clarity of mind looks like, okay? I'm sorry, but I'm going insane, says Merrick. Rich and powerful pedophiles are not getting kids through Balenciaga doing the Da Vinci Code of kid selling. This is just as insane as the Wayfair cabinets. This is QAnon level. Stop. What's the logic here? Balenciaga puts U.S. versus Williams in a photo shoot that's two photo shoots away from a different photo shoot that has a kid in it and they're pedophiles or something? Show, sh show up to the closest outlet and ask for the Ashcroft and wink at the confused cashier? No, Merrick, it's the higher-ups. Okay, buddy. So you think that people who can order a kid to molest from the higher-ups at Balenciaga have to figure it out through a vague mis-messaging code transmitted through separate ads? Be serious. Some intern pointed out the surprise Supreme Court case opinions because they want to appeal to upper middle class and upper working class people So they were going for lawyer in a photo shoot and it has nothing to do with kids US versus Williams just happened to be one of the cases they printed off. This is a coincidence. Yeah, unironically having Advertisements they don't pay that much fucking attention if they were they're selling a it, the, the, the theme is that it's a lawyer's desk with papers all over it and you need the nice bag to make your place organized. I doubt they even read the text that was on there. And even if they did, it has nothing to do with the kid photo shoots. Nothing at all. And it's anti-CP. Yes, it is Shu who kicked this off. You shouldn't harass her, but at this point, you should probably consider whether you follow or support her. This stuff is deeply unhelpful and actually harmful. And then here we go. This is somebody who responded to this. The left's most notable five pace, five dollar pig faced hooker wants you not to worry about international companies selling their products by using kids holding BDSM gear in their campaigns. If you can't believe it, she also promotes child sexual mutilation and surrounds herself with troon abominations. How much, how much, how much more obvious? Does it have to be? How much more obvious can it be? Yeah, here we go. I'm gonna read this real quick. This is one, one more. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna call on Merrick here because Merrick really nailed it. Merrick says, "I was molested as a kid, and when you come up with Rube Goldberg machine Da Vinci Code methods of spotting the pedophile in companies and ads, you spit in the face of victims. You're not helping. You just want to feel in control." This is about you, not about helping others. I actually wanted to say more honest and harsher things and my boyfriend won't let me. If you really cared about child victims, you'd be looking at the data and you'd be approaching at this from a practical and not a fantasy perspective. I wish I could empathize with you, conspiracy brained culture warrior, but it's hard when I know how much damage you're doing. The truth is not a point and click adventure. Most kids are hurt by their family and friends. I didn't fit that, I, I didn't fit that and my story is boring still. Grow up. I get for y'all that's very exciting to feel like you're uncovering something and a political tool to wield, but those of us who've survived this, it's not a fucking game. It's a lifetime of suffering. Stop. You're not heroes. 
it does do damage because the fact that there are thousands of people who can freak out and throw their attention and also jump in line with a bunch of insane, genocidal, anti-gay freaks, which Shu on head again knows is in her audience. Not just that, let me be completely honest. Shu on head has cultivated them in her audience, not just knows they're there. Shu on head does a fucking anti pedo thing every Pride Month. Just because Shu on head is so ooh woo that she can keep her mask on a little bit better than fucking Tim Pool doesn't mean jack shit. Chu is responsible for her audience, but more than just being responsible for her audience, because there are because being responsible for your audience is a big and complicated question. What is what Chu is more responsible for is the shit that she blasts out of her mouth all the time. And I mean it. This is nothing short of the most irresponsible, unhinged, uh, arguably even libelous trash. And she just dumps it out to her followers on a constant basis. And it's not the first time either. She's done this a million times before and she'll do it again. Worth remembering that Shu on Head is a very open bisexual, is an open bisexual. The very audience she is cultivating will come for her someday. Look, I don't wanna sound problematic, but let's just say that, uh, that Nazis have historically been very forgiving of bisexuality in women because they know that they can they can basically scare you out of it. That's it. That's that's it. Because Nazis think it's hot when girls like other girls. And also, keep in mind, like I said, if we want to show, if we want to be completely honest, if this was about truth, Shoe on Head posted kink pictures to her public accounts, which is followed by children directly, direct kink pictures of her on a leash being held by her sexual dominant armored skeptic. <laughs> um, so, shoe on head. You're guilty of literally just as much as Balenciaga. Perhaps someone should put you on the next pedo hunter uh, 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 a compilation. Pretty odd, isn't it? Interesting how s these fucking pathetic, uh, little ooh -hoo, pick me whatever bullshit people, these complete wastes of time, who, who act all nice to your face, but then, uh, th then plot your genocide behind closed doors. Which, by the way, let me be completely clear. Every time I've talked to Shu on Head in person, she's been very nice to me. But then, she promotes this shit, she shit talks me behind my back, fuck her. Oh yeah, oh, there's another thing. Let me just, oh, oh, hold on, I didn't even show you this one. You wanna see where it gets really fucking gross? You want to see where it gets even more gross? Here is Shoe on Head. So Xander Hall says, Shoe on Head on her way to once again use her massive platform to provide the neo-Nazis and her audience with fodder they can use to justify the murder of gay people. But this time, uh, one day after an anti-gay terror attack. By the way, fucking based Xander Hall. Can we get some motherfucking hypers in chat for Xander Hall having the balls and the spine and the giga chat energy to be a real trans ally? Because unironically, that's what it looks like. Xander Hall out here fucking spitting and showing you all how it's done. But let's take a look here. Zan, please don't conflate her calling out a company for doing a really weird and gross modeling shoot. They didn't do a really weird and gross modeling shoot. She made that up and now they've just caked it in euphemism so they can just pretend that it existed. We should be able to call out companies doing weird shit, especially since it has nothing to do with the queer community. Well, tell that to all of the insane right-wingers in Shoe on Head's communities who are posting wood chipper memes and, and tagging this with hashtag groomer and tagging in Matt Walsh and tagging in Tim Pool a day after an anti-gay shooting. But let's continue. Too late, he did it and unfollowed me just like Contra, the serfs, Hunter, etc. All of them over pedo shit, normal and cool. Not gonna stop me from talking about it. 
Now I said, I replied to this and I said, Shu, what are you trying to imply here? Because it kind of sounds like you're trying to imply something. Naming the serfs, hunter, and contrapoints, specifically naming contrapoints first, and then saying, ooh, it's weird and normal that they would unfollow me over my insane schizo posting about pedophilia. I wonder, I wonder, chat, what do you think that Shu was trying to say about ContraPoints, the most famous trans YouTuber, I believe, the largest trans YouTuber in the world? I wonder what Shu on head could be trying to imply by saying that it's totally normal and cool when, when she gets unfollowed. Hmm. I wonder, do you think that maybe this is a perfect example of shoe on head showing her fucking ass? It is a perfect example of shoe on head's fake fucking pedo hunter ba brainlit bullshit falling to the wayside. And maybe she just has a little bit more right wing th sympathies than she likes to admit because she's a spineless cretin. I like this comment, by the way. Shoe on head vaguely implies pedo conspiracies on a regular basis. Not vaguely, by the way, and not implies. Shoe on head explicitly alleges pedo conspiracies and her followers go even harder. Others, it's really weird and possibly harmful that you turn every single thing into a pedo conspiracy, interestingly during Pride Month. Shoe, wow, people keep unfollowing me over pedo stuff. Clearly they must be pedos. Useless Leg says, but to Shu, she doesn't think she's doing anything ultimately wrong, and that's the problem. She doesn't seem to possess the ability to be truly self-aware and uh, comprehend the why of it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get mad at you. Stop being sexist. Stop being sexist. Shu on Head is not a oo-woo little internet bimbo. Shu on Head is one of the most successful YouTubers in the history of YouTube. Shu on Head has successfully weaseled her way through the entire alt-right. Shu on Head has a picture of her with Blake Masters. In fact, I've got a funny photoshopped version of it here. Let me just share it with you, okay? Let me show you, it's really fucking funny. There you go. If you don't know who Blake Masters Blake Masters is, Blake Masters is the fucking right wing freak who got his ass blown out in the uh, in the uh, midterms because he's literally a neo reactionary uh, Nazi posting freakazoid who constantly posts about groomers and shit. She has a, you, th that photo is real, by the way. I'll show you the original. Where's the fucking? If I can find the original. Yeah, just so wait, hold on. Shoe on head, Blake Masters. There you go. Here's the original. Based and one income pilled. By the way, do you, do you know what that means? Based and one income pilled. That means like uh, women aren't allowed to work. That means that men are the bread breadwinners. Shoe on head is a crypto fucking freak. Okay, let's just let's just call it what it is. And I have. I have tried. I have even even fucking yesterday before she did this shit. Not yesterday, Sunday. On Sunday, chat was saying that I should bring up shoe on head alongside people like Steven Crowder, uh, Tucker Carlson, etc. And I hesitated and I said, nah, shoe's not quite to that degree. But honestly, you guys were right. I'm giving this this is that's an L on my part. I'm giving this dub to the chat. Because shoe on head is right up there with them. Shu on head just has a different tactic. See, she plays the ooh woo little bimbo pick me who's too stupid to be a Nazi. Who's too stupid to accidentally encourage her literally insane fans to go Pepe Sylvia and 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 dig into everybody she so much as thinks is 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 weird. Again, let's just go back to the core of this. Shu on head put three unrelated images from the same website, then alleged there was a conspiracy theory. The time has come that we stop motherfucking playing games with these disingenuous people. Do not be fucking sexist and pretend that Shu on Head is too much of a stupid bimbo to know what she's doing. She owns her channel. She runs her channel. She always had. She made the decisions to network with the alt-right. She made, she used to hang out and still does hang out with people who are at Charlottesville. 
That's what you call a motherfucking snake. Someone in Zan's stream po pointed out that Shu didn't even post about the shooting on Twitter. Yeah, why don't we go look? I wonder what Shu has been talking about. Can we, um, maybe we can find out what Shu on Head has been talking about. Oh, she's complimenting herself here. Because, uh, by the way, this is her showing that a, I don't know what website this is from, but she was cited by a website. So some shithole journalist cited Shu on head, and she's very happy about that. Here we go. Elon Musk confirms he won't reinstate Alex Jones. However you feel about Alex Jones aside, am I wrong here? There's the Balenciaga. Fake Trump tweet. I love this website. Fake Trump tweet again. Here's her memeing about January 6th. Here's her memeing about Trump being back. Here's her celebrating Trump being back. Disregard everything I've said and done online from 2014 to 2021. That was my friend using my computer. Do you, she's mocking you. She's mocking you people who think she's too stupid to be a Nazi. Yeah, weird. She found plenty of time to ask Elon Musk to specifically reinstate Alex Jones. And just remember, she tweeted that. Let, let me just make sure here. She tweeted that. Hold on, wait, wait. Let me just make sure the timeline lines up here. She tweeted that the morning that the news was breaking of the shooting, she asked Elon Musk to reinstate Alex Jones a guy who just got sued into the ground after years of ruining the lives of the victims of another mass shooting. Don't tolerate this shit. If you're a content creator, if you see this shit, don't tolerate it. Do not play games with these people anymore. We know what the stakes are. We've seen the rhetoric. We just spent the last four fucking hours of my stream live just Clicking on the quote retweets, scrolling through and seeing how people are talking about these issues. Let's take a look at Vadim's thread. A, a thread about Shuan Head's recent brain dead QAnon level tweet. Several hours before Pizzagate detective Shuan Head posted, it was already a matter of discussion on poll boards. This post, refer, uh, this post referred to it as gigaton pedo happening. Some blamed it on the CIA, many talked of pedo f -slur and k -slur, because of course, as Shu would say, normal stuff. Here's a bunch of screenshots of the thread where this originated. All of this is relevant because, oh golly gee, they're using someone else's tweet against me. This defense is practically a mantra for Shu and her stands at this point. But in this case, it's all the more ridiculous because the sources were delusional QAnon dorks who were already, by the way, noted, be note, note that the original source of this conspiracy, where Shuan had almost assuredly picked it up from, absolutely was linking this to gay people. Even if she avoided saying that, her fans didn't. So what did she expect? If the source is QAnon, the gazer groomer style lunatics, then that's what your post will inspire you, dummy. Hold up, they're using someone else's tweet against me. So the guy that's actually in reference, uh, so about the guy that's actually in reference to, Pedro L. Gonzalez, here's the guy, all right? This guy is a Nazi, apparently. Pedro L. Gonzalez is a far-right wing goon who retweets Shu on head often and turns her already bad tweets into absolute jizz fodder for crazy bigots. Oh, and please don't conflate her calling out a company with giving Nazis ammo. Okay, let's talk about that. It's time like these that Shu could just retweet the ghoul, explain why he's wrong, and tell his hateful users ass to fuck off. But she never does that. Yeah, isn't it interesting that even when people 
retweet her posts and say we need to wood chip her all the gays she never calls that out she never replies to that she never calls it out on video she doesn't quote tweet it isn't that fucking weird why who knows but maybe this time it's because they're twitter buddies here's some key exchanges we should discuss I want to remind everyone this is the thread that kicked this all off after Vosh read it on stream. So when I reference useful idiots, this is what I'm talking about. I have several vids de uh, defending the LGBT community against the map coup. Yeah, this was this was uh, Pride when she was saying that that pedophiles are ta are taking over the LGBT community, which is once again an insane thing to say. Oh, and here's Pedro, and she responds to Pedro. Pedro, please look away. She responds to Pedro by first name. That's a little odd, isn't it? Here we go. Totally unsurprising that the Libertarian Party's response here is, what's all the fuss about pedophilia? Here's Shu replying, unprompted, to Pedro L. Gonzalez. Why are you as a father so obsessed with the concerning growing normalization of pedophilia? Interesting. Wow, that's kind of weird. God. In those pics, we see them joking together about the same general stuff Shu was discussing in a recent post. The fact he's blatantly a hateful ghoul doesn't seem to dissuade her. She must have known when, when he makes posts like these on the daily. Transgenderology is a, tra, transgender ideology is a crime against humani humanity, says Pedro L. Gonzalez. Here's him tweeting a fuckload about grooming. Here's him tweeting about uh, uh, blowing up pedophiles. The transgender leviathan. The, the exchanges I posted are far from their only conversations. Are they besties? I don't even know. However, I definitely think it should be noted that Shu totally influenced the t his talking points on Tucker Carlson one time. Here we go. Thinking about how Bill Gates recently bought $690 million worth of farmland. Please explain to me what's wrong with Bill Gates. Thank you for talking about this on TV tonight. Unironically. Fucking unironically, shoe on head, thanking Pedro Gonzalez for talking about it on TV with Tucker Carlson. Oh, just so you guys know. Alert, Proud Boys, a far-right extremist group, have announced that they will be gathering at a Drag Queen Storytime event in Columbus on December 3rd. Please share this widely. There you go. Here's the link. Great. Awesome. Nice. Sick. Tongue on boot is more like it. No, I prefer blood on hands. I really do. I really do prefer blood on hands. Who's blood, I wonder, though? Who's blood? Real quick, one last bit. Just check my notifications and shoe on head fans have been sending me death threats and calling me a pedo ever since her reply to my post. Normal behavior. This is somebody sending to Zan. You are such a fucking faggot. It's unbelievable. Those are the, the tweeter's words, not mine. Support to Zan. Much love to Zan out there. I don't know. I got to come up with something nice. I'll message him later tonight. Fuck it. I'm not going to do it on Twitter. I'm just going to... I'll message Zan tonight. Zan is such a fucking sick ass person. Th by the way, just so you guys know, this is one of the reasons I respect Zan so much. Because um, even if Zan has made mistakes in the past and can be a bit of a hothead, Xander Hall really does have a spine and he really does care about, about queer people. This week fucking sucks. <sighs> this year is set 
to be one of punishment. I can feel it in my bones, okay? Remember that. This year is gonna be rough, but we're gonna make it through together. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my best to keep you all laughing. I'm gonna teach you guys as much as I can. But I want you guys to remember this, by the way. I just, I, seriously, I, if, if there's nothing that you, if there's nothing, actually no, there's a lot to take in about this stream, but it can't last and it won't last. Hatred burns itself out, always. It always, always does. Um, they can make it bad, but they can't make it last. That's why I say, that's part of the reason why I always tell you all, it's so fucking important to survive. Survival. Do not fucking die. That is so important because if you keep surviving, they will run out of steam. Not only that, but they'll run out of people too. <laughs>